What's up, everybody? Big Herc from Fresh Out. I'm here with Badger from Heavy Hitters and Josh from 23 and 1. You guys have been asking for a collabo. So, you know, we all got together to make it happen so we can answer some of these questions for you guys, which you guys know you want to hear. Make sure you guys subscribe to each channel 23 and 1, Badger's Heavy Hitters, Fresh Out, Life After Penitentiary. Um, links will be in the description, and this will be broken up on three different channels. So each channel is going to have a segment of this collaboration. So make sure you guys don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that uh, alert button so you don't miss out. But each one of us are going to have part of this collaboration. So make sure you guys all tune in. We'd appreciate you all tuning in. We'd appreciate you all subscribing. Hey, Josh, how are you, bud? I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you all doing tonight? Oh, man, we are chilling in Cali, man. Yeah, I know that's right. Just finally do this one-on-one -on -one thing, you know what I mean? I'm supporting Cali over here in the over here in the east. Yeah, I see you representing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in trouble now. All right, man. Look. All right, so we're gonna just crank it off. I got a question for y'all, man. Uh, uh, y'all don't mind? Is that y'all ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's get busy. Sure. All right, man. First question: What do you feel is the best way to stay out of trouble while incarcerated? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, uh, who do you want to roll with first? Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll kick it off, man. Um, I think as far as if you want to stay out of the mix in prison, one of the best things you could do is uh, take your ass to the law library. <laughs> you hang out in the law library. Everybody in there is uh, out of the way. They try to fight their case. There's a lot of positivity in there. There's classes. There's guys in there who are kind of, uh, you know, helping each other. It's kind of like a place where people can communicate among the different races because of the legalities of the situation. So it's a place where everybody is kind of like a, a safe refuge. And um, in there you can find, you know, people who are somewhat educated and um, people who are more, more humane as far as how they how they, you know, address you. And so um, I found that to be a place where, you know, I, I met a lot of good dudes. And uh, I was able just to avoid a lot of bullshit. And because I was in there a lot, I was able to network with white, Hispanic, uh, you know, Latin, um, Asian. I met a lot of different people and I crossed a lot of racial barriers by being in a library, library and educating myself in the law. Yeah, that's, you know, mostly... For in that situation, like what he's discussing, we would mostly do in our county jail. You know, that we have a much better law library as we do on opposed to, you know, a three or four yard. They have a little, you know, 1903 book still with dust all over them. Because, uh, but for the most part, in California, CDC, the Department of Corrections for the state, there really is no staying out of trouble. OK, you are able to stay out of trouble as far as to mind your own business. A, don't be caught talking to the popo. You know what I mean? Um, don't be rumoring with along with whatever is rumoring, you know, whatever's going on. Man, if you talk about it, you're part of it. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. You know, so. So but when time comes, like we're getting ready to get off with whoever you have to stand up. OK, you may not like it. But you have to stand up, and you're going to get the wire. Hey, things are fixing to go down, you know? And you can't go, well, but guys, I got an appointment with the teacher at the law library at this time, you know? Um, and you're not allowed to sell a soldier, you know, sit up in your cell. And, and <clears throat> I was reading. I got locked into my, you know what I mean? Like, so, but as far as all that goes, so, A, in, in, uh, state prison you know if you want to avoid all that stuff you need to join something along the lines of the christian car you know where but you better be a christian they're thugs too man they expect <laughs> you to, being honest yeah. they expect you to ride what they say you know i mean there's no cussing there's you're trying to get on the side of god so if that's the route you're going to run that's how you better be running you know, but if you're just trying to be that guy that's trying to swindle, swoop in and out, you know, like when it comes time to we're riding over a piece of bread tonight, then 
guess what? You're still going to be involved. You know, none of us like it. Okay. Um, but you have to step up there. So, but as far as not getting in the mix with everything, A, don't talk to the sheriffs. You know what I mean? They'll be talking to the people that you're not supposed to be talking to. If you have a job, you go to your job. You know, you work PIA, you work IDL, prison industries, uh, inmate day, day labor. You work at the dairy. You come home. And now if people see that you're running pretty much your own your own program. You're not trying to be politicking partially over here and getting tattoos over here and getting in debt and then, you know, getting a puck of tobacco over here and getting in debt. Don't do those things. Don't get involved in gambling, tattoo, drugs, homosexuality. Uh, just don't be involved in those right there. You're going to steer it clear. So all your problems are, your problems aren't being put out there. So the only time you're going to actually have to stand up is if it's an entire group facility. When everybody's saying we're getting down, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like for, it's when it's a we're. Well, if you're if you, for one thing, if your celly is in some shit, you gotta have his back. Yeah, you're not gonna be sitting on a bunk while he's getting his ass whooped, and then you're just like, oh man, I'm not, you know, hiding under the covers and shit. It ain't happening. And then, uh, you know, number two, man, you gotta if you were on the street and you were some huron gang member, and then you come to prison, and now you know you think you're just gonna be, you know, underneath uh, the radar. Well, there's people in there who know what you were about on the street, and it's going to follow you into prison. But if you were this, this nerdy dude who, white-collar, Jewish guy, you didn't have any, you weren't involved in anything. Nobody knows you. You're under the radar. You mind your business. You go to your little, you sit at the neutral table. You're not involved in no bullshit. You're not walking a track with nobody. You, you know, I've seen people that are invisible. So, yeah. you know, it just depends on how you were carrying it prior to going to prison and then what you decide to do once you get in there. And if your repetition, repetition, uh, reputation precedes you. Right. Yeah. Which comes back to as long as you're doing you, you know, I mean, you're not over here up in Hertz business or my business or anything. Uh, you're not making trades that you're not supposed to be making. Like he said, you can be invisible. You know, when the house is called upon for everybody showing up in that race because we're getting down, then you have to show up. I mean, you can't be like, but you guys, I've been reading. I've been, you know I mean, I've been doing this or that. It's a, you have to show up situation in, in state prison. Yeah. You know? um, so I had my selling had been at the prison that I was at since the year I was born. So that's like unheard of. You never yeah. ever trust anybody that's been in a prison that long. You never trust them. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're telling they're in with the lieutenant's clerk, whatever. They're you just don't trust these people. But as he said, you have to have their back because if your celly's in it, you're in it. That's bottom line. If they're coming for your celly, know that you're part of it. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you choose your celly wisely. And it's not like you can go, well, I want to sell with Bill because he's my friend. You know, what I mean, you don't really have it like that. But if you find somebody like-minded, somebody that's going to the law library, somebody that's doing different, you know, going to the hobby shop, doing doing these things that are staying out of trouble, you know, you could get a pass. You could get a pass as far as having to be involved altogether. Like I said, the Christian car, they get a pass. If they're not involved in it, then they get a pass. So uh, mind your own. Yeah. As I said, the, the main things are don't get caught talking to the police. You know what I mean? And when I mean talking to the police, you always be at least courteous to the police. You know what I mean? I say police, but correctional officers. <clears throat> you're always at least respectful to them, but you're never in the fucking, yucking it up with them. Hey, what about them Dodgers? Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I mean, that's not something you do. So the other thing is you don't get involved with tattooing. You know what I mean? If somebody asks you to be a point man or something, you'd be like... You can you can speak up for your own. Be like, hey, my boy, I I really don't get involved in that shit. So can you grab someone else to keep point? You know what I mean? Because you being a point man now makes you part of the situation. Yeah. They get popped, you're part of it. You yeah. know what I mean? So run your own program. Sure, you could do that to some degree. But when it, the house is being called upon, I, I hate to say this, my boy, just act like you got hit and fall down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have to be involved. Yeah. Otherwise, your prison career is over because every, you're going to wish that you had gotten up. Yeah. You know, See, like, uh, 
I understand where Hurt's coming from. He said, you know, pretty much put your time wisely into, uh, you know, situations or or go to uh, activities and stuff and pretty much just mind your own and, and do that type of uh, scenario. And I've seen people do that on a regular basis. And like I said, the feds is different from the state and the east in a lot of ways is totally different from the west because as, <laughs> as you said, man, you know, you got the whole car situation. Uh, <clears throat> running with your race. Um, I mean, over here, at least in Virginia and a lot of states I know on the East Coast, there's no cars. It's always, like I said, and on my channel, it's always uh, street gangs, you know, Crips, Bloods, yeah. Latin Kings, uh, MS, stuff like that. And it's never really fully about race. So it's, you're never really, let's say, a group of uh, white guys getting a fight. Me, necessarily, I wouldn't even have to. I wouldn't even have to, and I wouldn't be held accountable for not doing it. You, under, you, you understand what I'm saying? So I won't be held uh, reliable uh, or liable for not jumping in just because they're white or whatever the case is. <clears throat> but like me, I was a lone wolf, man, for real. I wasn't... I wasn't uh, clicked up with no one, no one. I was by myself. I mean, I talked to black, white, Hispanic, Asian. I gambled with everyone. Uh, I know that's probably unheard of for you over there in the West Coast, Badger. I don't know so much about the feds, but I know over here, <clears throat> even if, you know, you would see all races trading and all kinds of stuff. So, like, for me, being a lone wolf, the way for me to stay out of trouble and incarceration, it still came to me, even though I respected everyone. All the time, I would respect them. All the time, I would mind my business. I never, you know, talked or uh, indulged in rumors or anything along those lines, but still, people would test me. You know what I mean? Because I'm not the biggest dude in the block. Well, no, plus not, you are the lone wolf, so they are yeah. going to test you. Yeah, but at the same time, they see that I'm, you know, I work out with a certain group of people. I gamble with a certain group of people. I'm in the mix somewhat. I'm doing tattoos. But at the same time, they know that, you know, like I'm not clicked up with no one. So I've had people that just probably generally hated on me, jealous, whatever the case. I might have had more food than them that week, whatever the case was. And they get talking crazy. And I've gotten in a couple fights, but... Sometimes we would call you the guppy in the shark tank. <laughs> no, no, no guppy. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that out here that would be like, hey, oh, well, out there, there well, out there, but, I'd but, probably but be running what? around with you with uh, nine shanks wrapped around me. <laughs> you, you know, you know, though, I mean, like you said, um, you're gonna always have the hater. I mean, yeah. I was at a law library, I had a dude confront me because I'm going to the law library, he's asking me, what am I doing? I told him I'm studying, trying to figure out if there's a way to get out early. He said, man, didn't you do a bank robbery? I'm like, yeah. He said, man, why don't you just do your time? <laughs> so this is how ignorant motherfuckers are when you're in jail. For sure. You know what I mean? As far as this mentality. So even me minding my business, I still had to watch out for haters. Like you said, the guy who wakes up every morning, he looks out the tear, and you can just tell he's a piece of shit. You know what I mean? So you got to watch out for him because he's just mad because you're shining. Because you're doing you. So, you know, for people who are trying to, like, say, hey, man, you know, I want to avoid everything. You still, at some degree, have to watch your back. You got to, like, you know, be able to handle your business. And But for the most part, you can kind of maneuver, but you can't be naive. I mean, you're always going to have somebody who's uh, watching what you're doing because that's all people are doing there. They watch your program. You know, and, people and, and also, I mean... Uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, when getting into fights, size don't matter. I've seen little guys knock out big dudes, and I have actually. Absolutely. But, but in all actuality, someone of your size, hurt, okay, would be a lot safer than someone small and a lone wolf at that. Uh, so, like, for instance, like me, you know, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I work out and stuff, but I'm still, you know, I'm only 5'9". People are going to try testing you simply because they think they could, you know, warrior, warrior you. You know what I mean? They're going to win regardless. And, and those are other things that, you know, uh, that play a huge factor in uh, staying out of trouble. You know, some people just don't care what you're about. 
uh, if they feel as though they can they can bully you around or whatever the case is, they're going to do it. Y'all know just as well as I do in the penitentiary, fools be preying on weakness. You know what I mean? And and they'll test you regardless of, uh, you know, being respectful or not. But at the same time, when the way I stayed out of trouble, man, I mean, honestly, I don't know how I didn't get in more trouble than what I did because I was I was doing everything y'all say not to do. <laughs> I was gambling, man. I was tattooing. I was smoking bud. I was smoking cigarettes. Uh, I mean, people knew I was getting a half ounce probably, if not every month, every other month. And people knew it. And they could have easily taken it from me. Uh, but at the same time, like I said, man, I, I truly feel blessed uh, looking back at it. Uh, so on that note, not to interrupt you, on, but on that note, so, all right, Josh is hitting Saturday, right? Yeah. So did you, are you guys uh, obligated to, I know you guys don't do the race thing there or whatever, yeah. right? Are you obligated to break off an issue per, per no? <laughs> and you won't even, look, you won't even know half the time when something's hitting the, hitting the uh, compound. You won't even know it until you just see it, people having it. And then everyone's like, who's got what? Where's it at? Where's it at? And sometimes you know when it's coming. Like, uh, you know, I go try to get some bud or something, some weed, and they'll be like, man, it'll, it'll be here this weekend. It'll be here this weekend. Chill out. Uh, it'll be here. And I'll be like, all right, all right. But I don't know, and no one really knows except for a rare one or two or a handful of who's getting it. You know, Where uh, it's from. but there is multiple people getting stuff like that. So uh, it's like I said, you, you never know, uh, at least in this. Oh, here we have what's called a kitty. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So uh, the people that are in the back, you know, what I mean, like right from the top, we're, we break off a third going back to them. You know, what I mean, uh, so. Yeah, I don't want to go in. <laughs> like a third of that. So it doesn't matter who's got it, where it's coming from, because somebody knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so there's there's a there's a pecking order. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, my friend. There is the pecking order, and it is going to be known that you brought in your issue. And, you know, generally what you do is like, so I, I don't know if you guys do like, I hate the term shot callers, but, you know, decision maker or whatever for do you guys have pods or do you have cells? I don't know what you have, but yeah, pods some, and cells, it, it's some, just different. So it's per unit, like a 180 unit or it's a it's like a, uh, I mean, it's like a 360 pod, but it does. The cells probably stop around 180 and the right. rest is like the booth. But hey, look, I will touch into this dependent on the block because I've seen people get packs in. And then they do have to uh, give Kidding out a out. little bit because right. there might be, like you said, a shot caller or OG in the block. And he's like, yo, bro, you're going to give me a little something off that and it all or else we're going to come get it all. Yeah. And I've seen that numerous times. Uh, I actually happened to one of my homeboys before and, and shit almost popped off. But at the same time, he weighed his options. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and respect this and give them a little bit off this and uh, keep it moving. It turned out everything was peaceful. But it just depends on who's in the pod, you know, in the block. Uh, sometimes it's unorganized and sometimes it's not. So so the, bot the bottom line is stay off the dope game. Stay off the dope game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Stay off the game. I mean, we ended you know, up here, didn't we? <laughs> you, you, you were fortunate, you know what I mean, to maneuver, but we don't – I wouldn't advocate – Somebody to try to be sneaky oh, no, because no, I'm no. telling you, once they find out you got shit popping off, it's it's all bad. You know, you put yourself in a whole lot of shit. Somebody else wants part of what you're doing. Trust always, always. That might even be a CO shaking you down, knowing that hey man, I already know what you got going on. So the same CO that just down. sold it to you. <laughs> you know? well, look, I will say this: how I stayed out of trouble, I think, how I was safe and no one really messed with me. I would say probably because I was being myself. I wasn't trying to be hard. Right. I wasn't trying to be uh, a suck up or whatever or or play a a snake. I'm not trying to be a snake and you know what you uh, see is what you get with Josh. What, yeah, when when you see me, that's me. And there's nothing more, nothing less. 
no image, not like these fake rappers out here in the rap game, and then you meet them and they're nothing like them rapping or anything like that. Uh, that's, that's, I think, what people respected when it came to me. Uh, you know, I just was me. And I didn't. I, I, I didn't. think a lot of that too is uh, being humble. You exactly. know, you be humble. Yeah. You know, you bump, hey man, excuse me. You know, hey man, sorry about that. For sure. Uh, respect, pardon me. Right. You know, you don't just bump into somebody in the hallway, Never. you know, and dude's like, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't recognize you bumped into me. Homeboy can't say you know? something. And, uh, and then also going back to what you said, like these rappers, I didn't see some super, uh, I seen some super crips come through the air and I said, man, I give him, I give this guy two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> they, they peeled his whole uh, background real quick on Google. You know what I mean? And um, <laughs> dude didn't stay on the compound two weeks. And so, you know, if you uh, come in there trying to be some super gangster, harder than you think you are, somebody will pull your whole card. So better off just being humble, keep your mouth shut, and just like, you know, lay on low. You know what I mean? Easy E said it the best. Come talking that shit, we'll pull your yeah, card. Yeah, exactly. You nothing in life but to be legit. <laughs> Don't yeah. quote me, boy. Classic, classic. This shit. So, and you know, let's keep in mind here, Herc, it c comes from a facility, c comes from a penitentiary where there's major class, major respect. Yeah, I mean, he's fucking with high dollar people. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, totally different. And you're not fucking with no fucking street level fucking, you know, you want to buy a 20 people. Yeah. You know? So that's why I was sort of curious how they did it as far as the drug game goes. Um, I've known Herc for a long time. He's not in, involved in the drug scene at all, so I doubt if he was involved in the drug scene in no. there. It was popping off in there. I mean, I heard about it, and, you know, a couple of guys, hey, man, you want to go collect with me? I'm like, nah, I'm yeah. cool, man. You know, I'm a big dude, like, hey, man, I'll roll me over here. And as soon as Just I heard that, look yeah. Big. And now, like he said, by me standing there, I'm yeah, a part, part of the situation. Right. So if they roll potting up, I'm, like, part of that roll-up. So I, you know, I avoided a couple things in there, and I almost just by coming walking with somebody down the hallway and hand, standing out another unit. And while they go in a unit to go find somebody, I'm actually by default keeping point. So you know, shit like that, man. You got to watch out. Dudes will, you know, keep you, you know, put you in the mix, or and I not see, even have you know that you're in the mix. Or, or, or I see when a motherfucker start smoking weed, but it has you, hey, bad dude, look out. Now, you're part of smoking that weed, so when he, oh, <laughs> hey, man, weren't you? <laughs> he lets you, he lets, he lets you burn a hit off <laughs> yeah. that. He's like, hey, dog, you was half on that. Hey, man, you owe part of that, that big. <laughs> For so sure. You got to be careful, man. They, they People trick you up in some shit. Yeah, let me ask you this. And a lot of people, this is uh, a crazy thing. A lot of people uh, actually comment and be like, you should have done something. You should have done something. Let's say this falls in line with the staying out of the mix type of uh, scenario, what would y'all do? I don't know how y'all's prisons run. I know kind of how uh, Badgers, the state over there in the West Coast runs, but uh, feds, I'm not so sure. Let's say uh, you see someone, uh, a good guy. He's a good dude. He, he, you know, he's not really in the mix, but for some reason got an altercation. You know, he probably uh, helped you out some somewhere down the road earlier. And, uh, you know, fed you when you're hungry or something and you see him get shanked right in front of you and he's just laying there on the ground. Uh, do you, would keep you say walking. help? Would you would you say help him or keep, keep on walking? walking? Yeah. And if it comes to a shanking situation, if it's not a hand, you know, three dudes on one, if it's three dudes on one, you might want to get involved. Somebody yeah. comes by and puts heat in them. You definitely don't want to be. I wouldn't want to be involved in his business. Yeah, now that's what I said. Do something different. Yeah, but that's what I said. Four dudes jumping them. You know what I mean? And this man's put food in your gut before. Then, yeah, you might want to get beat up with them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, you got some integrity out there. And they're like, hey, homeboy's down for you. Whatever the case is, we never want to see somebody just get smashed if they've looked out for us in the past. Yeah. And they just keep pushing. Yeah, if it's your partner, like your you partner, said, like yeah, your cellmate, that's a t t different situation. Yeah, like if it's story. your partner, you see some shit, and you know these guys are gonna go up on them. I don't give a fuck. They got a shame. I'll take a I'll take a belt off and go upside their head or do something. I'm gonna do. Sure. I'm not gonna let my homie get stabbed in front of me. But if it's like he said, somebody I don't know, I've seen a dude stuck. I didn't know the dude. I knew him but didn't know him. Right. You know what I mean? And I don't know what he had going on. And to be honest, I had to keep pushing because there's cameras. I stopped. I get blood on me. I'm under investigation, and now I, I might have a potential case. Or 
you know, somehow I'm caught up in some shit. Now the CEOs can say, well, you, we heard this and this. you involved for Exactly. It. And they'll, they'll actually put word out. So now I'm tied in a fucking rumor. Yeah. So a situation like that, I kind of, I, I avoided. I've seen a couple of dudes fucked up and I just walked off. He kept it pushing. I didn't, that wasn't my business. But if it was like my partner, my dude, I, bre- I spread with all the time. All right. And I know this dude ain't a piece of shit. And these dudes are on some bullshit. Hey, man, I'm going to get busy, man. That's yeah. what I do. What did he yeah. feed you before? Let's get this down. I mean, if it's just a top butt naked soup, he's on his own, bud. <laughs> if we yeah, went nachos see, or something, then but my might. viewers, my viewers, when I because I've told a story like that before, I've seen some crazy, crazy stuff go down, and you know, I kept it moving. And people are like, "Man, you should have stopped and helped," uh, you know. But people can't really grasp that even just helping someone, like y'all said will throw you in some shit that you do not want to be in. And and people just can't grasp that for some reason. Well, that, and, then, and to put correction on that, if it's on the street and I see some asshole you know, hitting on a female, I'm not going to drive by and just keep going. I'm going to pull over and get out. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to jump out. I'm not going to let somebody beat up on some old lady, somebody slap a kid around, or somebody do something I feel is out of pocket on the street. That's my... As a, as another human being, I'm not gonna let that happen. Yeah, the you know what I mean? a whole nother story. Whole, a whole nother story. So I'm involved. It, yeah, it, it's I, I'm 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 getting out the car. But like you said, in the penitentiary, you know, there's a lot of shit that transpires, and you don't know why that took place. You know what I mean? You don't have no idea. So to get involved in something, it, it opens up another can of worms. But on the street, hands down, I'll split a wig over somebody for like sure, that for sure. So listen, Josh, to, like, because. To, the way you explain the question, like out here, okay, if Herc's getting whacked, who's he getting whacked by? Is my question. You know what I mean? Like, is it a white dude whacking him? Is it Mexican whacking yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Is it his own people whacking him? You guys don't have that that law. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, if if he's a white dude and he's getting ready to get whacked, guess what? I already knew. Yeah. I already know he's getting whacked. Yeah, you know I mean, like it's not just gonna happen without me knowing. I'm already gonna know because fucking like, hey, fucking homeboys in the hat, fucking mind. You know what I mean, just avoid that. You know what I mean? That's how it's gonna go, bro. And it, so, and it's usually in California. It's usually so Josh fucks up, right? And now we gotta make a move on you, fucking whoever you fucked up with, whatever race, you know, blacks, Crips, whatever. Uh, Southsiders, Nortenos, whatever, they'll come to the decision makers, you know, and they'll present the case. And either A, we're going to take care of you, you know what I mean? Like, we're just going to take care of ourselves. So we already know what's happening. Yeah. We're going to get hit. You know what I mean? But it's not usually just another race is just going to come up to you as a one on one individual and, and put a move on you and just keep pushing. You know, I don't know how it is in the feds, well, no, I, I mean, how it is back there. You guys have different cars, but out here, if you're going to get hit, I'm already knowing. Yeah. You know I mean, so, and I know why you're going to get hit. So, and so do, I mean, they're not going to like out of the blue, the thing is, it's like, if you're a good dude and I'm like, Hey man, I heard some shit. Look, <laughs> You know what I mean? My my heads up, yeah. Shit, yeah. You pack it, roll your shit up, man. You know, unless, you're check gonna, in. unless you're gonna handle your business, which you know, if it comes down to that, you must have been doing something, man. You right. know what I mean? Because if if the black car, even if I'm not rolling with them, they like, oh man, you know, either somehow your gambling got out of control on a gambling table, you got some dope, didn't pay, and even your partner's like, dude, you can't. These are like violations, you know. So if you're doing shit like that, but otherwise, if somebody's gonna do something to you and you're good, somebody's gonna give you a heads up, like. Hey man, um, I'm getting told. Yeah, you know, dude is tripping off you. You better, you know, see what's up because he's not gonna randomly trip off you off of nothing. Yeah, come on with heat. Yeah, you know, know, hey, dude is uh, be ready for a boy. Yeah, for sure. You know, catch his ass. You know, so you'll get a heads up. Yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna know what's coming, and you know why it's coming. You're the only one who may know why it's coming because. You know I mean, you got caught stealing some soap out of his, whatever the case is. But generally, whatever car you're from is gonna know that you were about to get hit, my boy, and. You know, uh, like I said, if you, you disrespected the Mexicans by owing them too much money, the money hasn't gotten there, blah, 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 then they'll come to us, tell us, hey, you're either going to pay the debt or you're going to take care of this or we're going to take care of it. You know what I mean, and then usually if they take care of it, it becomes a whole 
this car, that car, whole situation. You know what I mean? So it just comes down. So in other words, you're not, it's not going to come out of surprise like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's say, unless it's two homeboys that got into sellies or neighbors that got into a little beef and homeboys just got a personal beef, then just, yeah, keep pushing. Man. You know what I mean? It ain't, it, you ain't part of it. So, yeah. and it's so different. That's what's so different about where they're at, where you're at. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not knowing. You're like, fuck, homeboy just got whacked. So what the fuck do I do? <laughs> yeah. you his pants down. Yeah. I mean, whereas we're already knowing way in advance that it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Did that answer that question? Oh, it definitely did. I think we got to address some uh, great points on how to stay out the mix. Um, yeah, you got the hobby shop. You got all, yeah. the law library. You have, you, know, you have all these other, you could be painting in the hallway. You could become part of the art crew. You could join the band. You know what I mean? Like, join the softer car things, but that's not what these idiots. And I, I was one of those idiots. So if you know what I mean, that they come out here and all they want to do is fuck a politic, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and they want, all they want to do is cause they're bored as hell and they want to wreck. You know what I mean? And that, <clears throat> that's stupid. It's the most ignorant facility that I've ever been in, in my life. Yeah. Being in prison, bro. To come out here. Well, yeah. The level, the level of intelligence, the IQ then, um, level. Is and then also, uh, knowing, knowing who, uh, who your friends are. I remember, I, I, you know, I know we're trying to finish up this question, but yeah, I remember that's hard. there was a dude from supposedly from SAC, you know, I'm from SAC, whatever. Oh man, one of your homeboys here. I'm like, dude, I don't know this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't never met him on the street. You know what I mean? Just I'm not going to represent him because he's from SAC, whatever. Sure enough, his cellie went to the hall. This dude from New Jersey, this dude stole some shit. Dude come out the hall. He want to peel his cap. You know what I mean? Dude check in. Now, if I would have said this is my partner, You'd be checking I'd be in the same room. shit. I would have to either get down or be part of that situation because sure. I'm um, supporting him. I'm a supporter. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you got to watch who you say your friends is, man. You don't, 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 um, don't get your caught up in self in a situation. And I, 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 I use this term. I call it the, the tar baby because you hang around somebody and you get it on you, but then you try to leave. Right. And now they're like mad because you don't want to kick it no more. So you got to be from Jump Street. Watch your friends. Judge if you ain't got a Big good time. character by the time you get to the pen, you're fucked. Yeah. You're going to get caught up in some shit. You got to be able to read people. Some people, man, I'm telling you, you got to watch out. You know, what I mean, hey man, here, here's here's the spray. You know, and dude, tell hey man, don't be getting no food from him. You know that dude. You, you know what I mean? Boy, huh? You know what type of time he's on. You got to watch out. It's not like dudes are trying to be your friend in there right. because they're cool. They got an agenda. You yeah. know what I mean? So. You guys got to really watch out for that shit too, man. People are, uh, they're trying to pull you into their web. Now that agenda could go from anything from like, here's the last two bites of my soup, which means you're washing my bowl. When you're done eating it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like he says, there's always an agenda, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, as far as friends go, I don't think I ever had a friend in prison, bro. Yeah. I wrote on my cell. I trust no one. <laughs> I, had, I, had some, I had some solid partners that had proven themselves. Yeah, I mean that I know I'm gonna fall with this dude, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. As far as friends go, so out here, if I got a problem with you and me and you's running tight, I don't have a problem with you. Herc's got a problem with you because you owe him some money and now that you know you're not paying him, you're telling fuck you, whatever, but they're not wanting him to come get you, and they're putting it off onto me because I'm your partner. Yeah. I'm the one who can get closest to you. Yeah. You know I mean, so when you put that little 275 on that weight bench, well, yeah, may not get spotted all the way back up. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean. That's how it goes. Yeah. If you're the one that's able to get closest to you, sometimes the number falls into your lap and you're just stuck doing something that you're not going to feel right doing, but you're going to do it or you're next. Hey, I, I want to add to that too is, uh, like you said, uh, friends in prison. And I know, Josh, you just say you don't trust no one. I'll tell you right now, my my last Sally, me and him are tight to this day. He's been in my house, stayed at my house. I met his grandmother, his mom, everybody. My other partner I did time with, uh, you know, uh, Hawaiian Cat, we're still friends. Everybody I met in the pen that I judge good character, I got still their numbers on the street. Still so that's the difference, you know what I mean? And if it, like, good dudes. I got a white partner in Seattle, Korean homeboy in Oregon. I got a Mexican partner in Texas. You know, I got dudes all over the country I still politic with as far as business, you know, ideas motivating each other. And so that's the difference in the feds where 
you meet people, some of them are good dudes. And a lot of these guys helped me when I got out. I mean, I had a Mexican dude uh, basically gave me a car when I got out. I had a Korean dude, um, you know, help me get my first, uh, my, my second automobile when I got out. So, you know, I've run across a lot of good situations by people I've met, but that's because yeah. I really took the time to, you know, look at the people I was associated with because I got in there by bad, bad judgment. Right. So apparently when I got in here, I want to make sure the people I associate with were of the same character and, and it worked out for me. And, and I can vouch for this. He, he still kicks it with people. You know, I mean, I was at his birthday party. Oh, yeah, you met a couple. And, of them, yeah. you know, I mean, and so his judge of character is pretty right on. You know what I mean? Like, they were all respectful, level-headed. Uh, like he said, they're not on this ignorant page down here. They're on the what can we do to make money page. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you can find that, that's rare. That's rare. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you can find that, latch on to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anything that's going to better you while you're there, why wouldn't you latch on to it? Yeah, yeah I mean, if, I'm gonna look weak because I'm getting, um, you know, who cares what these guys say? Who gives a shit, man? Like the bottom line is, who cares? First little riot, you guys are all gonna lose each other anyway. Dude. You know what I mean? You're Shit all going country. going different routes. So, like, it's not a we number; it's a me number. Don't get in there and assume that people are gonna have your back because you fucking tossed them a top ramen one day or something. Like you said, your yeah. boy got plugged. You kept pushing. You know what I mean? Like. You choose, who, you know what I mean? Like I said, partners. You, you have choose partner. wisely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Because there's always an agenda. Like I, he said, you know, that top ramen wasn't free. Hitting, yeah. that, that, hitting that doobie that night wasn't free. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And, and most of these motherfuckers get talked up out of their fart box. Yeah. You know I mean, they ain't getting their fart box taken. They can just get talked up out of it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's First, a whole nother uh, yeah, genre. Yeah, genre. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, yeah. that's, that's, that's how stars are. That's, that's cash. Like, oh, tax. man, he's a straight predator. Straight <laughs> predator. Straight yeah. predator, and he knows all the tactics. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I smoke uh, a joint, Oh, uh, man, I got some oysters, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, the joints you know what I mean? rubbing your shoulders. <laughs> Sitting on the bunk next to you, rubbing <laughs> knees and shit. You got to watch out for all that shit. You know? <laughs> you know? You know? Come to your shower, got the towel still around them and shit. Motherfucker, go get dressed, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> so. You know? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch out. There's moves, oh, man. I got yeah. plays. They got yeah. plays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do they, do they show you that how not to get raped video? Hey, when you never, get in? never stop at another motherfucking cell when you're leaving the shower or to the shower. Hell no. You know what I mean? Because motherfucking Peter Gazer. Point eight, point eight, <laughs> on. Yeah. You know I mean? Don't get your clothes on. Don't stop and fucking conversate when you're on. You know. That's why most convicts got fucking foot rot, because ain't none of them trying to bend over and dry their feet with a towel on. <laughs> so let's get on yeah. it. Let's get on it. Hopefully that answers your question out there, y'all. Yeah. yeah, man. I think that was a good good uh, uh, first episode. I enjoyed that I'm one. i bring a little humor to you guys, as well as a little knowledge on some real shit, you know? So we're, we're laughing about it, but it's all real shit, you yeah. know? Very so, real. Very real, my friends. Yeah. What we say, uh, Herc says it all the time. You say it all the time. If you want to avoid all these issues, go to fucking school. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. You know, like, do what your mom told you to do. Yeah. Go yeah. join a fraternity and go uh, hang out with the women. You know For I mean? sure. You know what I mean? Fuck the president. Zumba. Yeah. Zumba's a great part-time thing to say. Right? Yeah. It's me and 47 other females. Why yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. 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 So, um, hey, yeah. thank you guys for checking out this first episode. You know, uh, it was a great question, bro. You know what I mean? I hope we got what you were looking for. You know, you got anything to touch up on? Uh, no, man. I think we, we pretty much touched on a little bit of everything. <laughs> Shot that shit. Yeah, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Uh, let me come in here and uh, do a little conversation with y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm having fun, right. man. I'm having fun. I'm having fun, too. <laughs> you know, we're the strippers. <laughs> <laughs> so all right you guys all right everybody i hope you guys enjoyed that first collaboration uh thanks josh appreciate it man badger and uh make sure you guys tune in to uh 23 and one badgers heavy hitters for um parts two and three of our collaboration don't forget to subscribe if you like the content guys you know it it's a struggle as it is trying to make it through these channels you know we 
put all this and that out there. Josh puts his time and energy in there. Herc does multiple things. He's putting his time and energy in there. At least hit a like. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. let us know that we're, we're bringing what you want, you know? So then that way we know what makes you happy, keeps you guys focused on us, and we just want to bring you the best content. Josh, it's been good sitting down with you. You know, looking forward to part two. Yeah. Um, Girk. You know, yeah, I just, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, like I said, I'm having I'm having a hell of a time doing this, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate y'all uh, having me over here, and uh, I can't wait for part two as well, man. And uh, big salute to both of y'all's audience, uh, and man, I hope we can keep this going on in the future. You know what I mean? Talk about sure. crazy subjects, get different points. I think this is gonna be epic, man. So uh, I guess only time will tell. I roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful yeah all right josh and we'll see you at uh episode two yeah episode yeah, two man. all right buddy take it easy all right lockdown's over get your yard time in exclusively at freshoutseries.com <laughs>